Hello everybody, we are back here on Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunt, and we are once again going to be working towards getting to another pro hunt. We just did this one in the last episode, so that means it's time to work our way up to the next one, which will require some more kills on Wild Boar, because we have like no score at all for the Wild Boar. So we need to do that. I think we're going to start with some of these just normal hunts. And then at some point, if we still need more, we're going to go into free hunt and get it that way. So let's jump into these. What do we even need? So we need scent mask and a 270 bolt action. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Where's the scent mask? There it is. Boom. Scent mask plus our ammo, of course. That is going to be enough to get us into this one right here. Let's set the time. We'll go. Yeah, nine honestly sounds great. Let's jump straight into it. You guys have really been liking these uh, episodes right here on this game, and I've been enjoying it too. It's been a very fun game to play. You know, I wonder if we can shoot other stuff while we're going for the wild boar. Where are we? Oh, so the boar spot's over here, apparently. That's weird. I just see Whitetail. I don't see Wild Boar there. Am I wrong? I guess not. That's supposedly a Wild Boar spot, but I don't see Wild Boar at all, guys. Not sure why. I suppose, though, we could try to get over here to this spot right here. Uh, let's see. Hunt two wild boar with a rifle from less than 70 yards. Okay, so we got to get really, really, really close. Hmm. I wonder where they even are. Let's just slowly sneak up and see how this goes. And, you know, if they're here, they're here. If they're not, then it is what it is. We'll try to figure out where they may be. So we're going to just prone up to this spot and take a look around. Nah, they know we're here. There's nothing I can do in this situation. And I don't even see the boar that are supposed to be here, so... Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. What are we going to even be able to do? Hmm. We could go for a different feeding zone, like this one down here. That might be the play, because this is not working out. Looks like all the game has been spooked around here. I, I just want to see. Was there any wild boar? I just see whitetail deer. I don't think the boar were ever in this area. So I don't think it's going to be too big of a loss because I don't believe they were even here. Oh. This shot was too short to count for the ah, damage. too close. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. There they are. It's 71 yards away. We just need to get a little bit closer and this will count for our mission. Yeah, 68. Let's move over a little bit so we can actually get a vital hit. Stay flexible on your approach. The wind could shift and make a shooting speed. I think that's going to work. Yeah? Yep, left lung. Let's go. We've done it. That was definitely Double within. Long shot. Excellent shot placement. It won't go far. That was definitely within 70 uh, yards. That was definitely within I 70 yards. So that went a lot better than I expected it to. Now we just got to find the other one, which is off in that direction. Uh, provided they're still at this particular zone type, we might have to swap to uh, drinking or resting zones. But that was a solid shot right there. Absolutely nailed him. You need one more trophy to finish the hunt. Just one more. That's all we need. One more and we will have all the wild boar. You know, we struggled with the boar in the uh, last episode that we hunted them, which I believe was two episodes ago. 
Because we did our pro hunt in the last one, and it was the one before that where we tried to take down a wild boar as well as some other stuff, and we did not do good on the wild boar. So, hopefully we'll do better on all our boar shots today. That first one was definitely promising. And hopefully it means that we'll be on point with the boar for the rest of the day. I don't see any wild boar over this zone right here, though. Unless that's one. No, it's not. I think that's just part of the tree. Um, yeah, we're going to have to find another spot. Are they maybe transitioning into another zone type? I don't think they are. I think it's still feeding zones that they're going to be at. We could go to this one. It's really far away, but might be our best bet. So we're just going to head off in this direction. And obviously, if I find any, like, coyotes along the way, we're going to shoot those too because I need to shoot quite a few of them for that, uh, like, side quest thing. There they are. Okay, wild boar. About 160 away. We need to be a lot closer than that in order to take this shot right here. It's not that I'm not confident at that distance. It's just, you know, we got to be within 70 yards in order to actually... Complete this mission right here. And I really want to get the most out of these missions as we possibly can. So I want to make sure that we successfully complete them in like every category that it has. Ooh, that's a big one right there compared to the other. I can't tell what this one is, but I want to shoot one of these larger ones if we possibly can. Make sure that we get the most out of this hunt, like I said. Sixty-seven yards. Honestly, that's a perfect shot right there. Just don't move. He's staring us down. We can't move. Come on, turn broadside, man. I think that's good. Might have been a little far forward. I think it's good. Oh, the ribs, no. Ah, the ribs. Was on target, but your bullet didn't have enough kick to finish. No. Next time, use a heavier caliber round or try shooting from closer range. Man, that rib just ruined our day right there. That's the toughest part about trying to use the 270 on these wild boar. Those ribs are brutal to try and get through. So now we got to move on and try to find another one because there's no way that thing's going to die. Oh, hey. There we go. That right there, I think, is our next target. Oh, it died. Wait, it died. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. That means I, I believe that'll count. I mean, of course, we're going to lose a little bit of points for missing vitals. But we're going to lose more if we don't claim it at all. So really, the only options we would have here is we could restart... Which would reset all our progress that we just went through. Or, we could just go claim it and uh, take the slight loss in credits. I think that's probably what we're going to do. Why is this thing just... Is this it? Oh my gosh, it's bugged out. This is him. What's wrong with you, buddy? I mean, I suppose this is perfect opportunity to take a good screenshot. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect screenshot material, I guess. <laughs> Keep an eye on the wind. You don't want to be caught up wind. There we go. Negative 75. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. That, uh, that really hurts. Well, it is what it is. We completed it still. There we go. 36, 25. 
So it would have been 3,700 credits, but, you know, we kind of screwed that up. So rip. Would have been actually way more now that I think of it. It would have been like probably 4,800, 5,000, somewhere in that range. Still decent, though. I'll take it. Still decent. So what is this one? Oh, 12 gauge pump action. Okay. Uh, this one requires... Oh, let's just hunt one wild boar. And that one hunt one 450 plus pound wild boar from a stand or blind. Yeah, that works. Let's just do both of them if we can. I think both of them is probably going to be good. So this is very odd. Um, I've gone through a couple of zones now. I went right through this bedding zone. Literally nothing was there. Even though it says that's the time they're at. Uh, feeding zone should be next. And I'm approaching it and getting no indication of there being boar anywhere. I'm curious what's going on. I mean, we're getting an indicator there, but is it actually boar? Or is it like a whitetail? My guess would be probably... Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> well, that's not what we're after at all. And I don't know where these boar are. I might back out and just do a different time. Yeah, I think we're going to do a different time. I'm not liking this time at all. This time frame does not seem to be that good. So let's go in at do 10. 10 should hopefully be better. Already. Much better. Uh, wind, though, is not much better. So it looks like we just need to hunt one wild boar. That's it. Just hunt a boar. And speaking of boar, there we go. Quite a few boar. That's a decent one there. 830 to 850. In fact, we might be able to just take that shot right there even. Mm, I don't know. We should probably play it safe and not take a super risky shot, especially an angled one like that. Want to make sure it's completely broadside. Want to make sure that we uh, are close enough to where it can get through the freaking ribs if it hits them. Because those ribs are brutal. Absolutely brutal. We're getting really, really close. In fact, this might be good right here. 78 yards. That's not bad. Oh, they're walking to me. Walking to me. What are you doing, buddy? I don't like this. Oh, no, I really don't like this. What's about to happen? I I had to brain shot it. There wasn't anything I could do there. Okay. Woo, we got the brain. Headshots are risky business. A shot to the vital organs of the body is always the same. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Welp. I think we're going to go ahead and, uh, I mean, can we even restart? No. We, we can't restart. Oh, man. Well, let's do that again. That went terribly. Uh, that went absolutely terribly. However, 10 did seem to be pretty good. So we're going to do 10. And just let's hope that doesn't happen again. That would be terrible if that happens again there we go bore our right ahead make sure we actually get up there with enough time to take the shot before they start moving i want to get to about 70 70 or less and i'll feel somewhat comfortable we're just going to shoot this one not going to worry about size too much when uh, we're having this much of an issue trying to take these things down let's just get this thing down right now Should be good. Should be a lot better than the last one. There we go. Hit the ribs. Left lung. Lung shot. Nice and clean. Only single lung, but it's way better than that rib shot that we got earlier. Better than having to go for a brain shot. Man, feels good that we actually got a successful shot on this boar right here. There we go. There's our wild boar. Let's claim it. 600 gear credits because we only got a single lung. 
So that's a little bit unfortunate. Didn't get as many credits as we could have, but we'll get a bunch when we complete this. Hunt one wild boar is now completed. And 2,100 credits in total. I'll take it. So we still don't have enough for this pro hunt. I don't know the requirement. What is the requirement? 800. Okay. We need a recurve as well. That's going to be interesting. Hunting Hogzilla with a recurve? Okay. We got to hunt a 450 plus pound wild boar from a stand or blind. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be perfectly fine. Hopefully this one will go pretty smoothly. I mean, depending on if they're in the same areas as before. I know where a stand is over here. Uh, it doesn't look like it, though. Yes, yeah, so they're not going to be there this time, unfortunately. Right, because we've got a lot of hunting pressure, but... Yeah, because we've killed some, like, right here. Yeah, we've got, we got some dead ones around here. So I'm thinking... We'll try that out. Are they there? They are. Beautiful. 890 to 900. Definitely some stands in the area, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there definitely is. Right over here, it looks like there's a better one than the one that we have next to us. If we just go right here, that should be fine. Here we go. Got 147. We could attempt it. In fact, I think we're going to have to because we need to be in a stand. We need to be in a stand in order for this shot to count. How hefty does it have to be? I think it's 450 plus. That is not going to do it. That one will, though. Should be good. Unless I misjudged how much lead I need. Ooh, heart shot. Let's go. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Straight through the heart. This That's one beautiful. Before figuring out what hit it. Let's go. We did it. That should be that one completed, I think. I think we've completed that one. Now, I don't know what else we would have needed to do, so I think this should be a completed hunt because I don't think there was any other requirements. Yeah, just from a stand or a blind. Okay. Uh, wrong button. There we go. Let's claim this bad boy. First one that we've ever dropped on the spot as well, so that was nice. That was surprisingly good, actually. 400 credits for getting the all vitals points. Then we got the total gear credits of 1,200. Much better than the last one. Much better. 3,200 credits in total. Love to see it. Love to see it. Now, let's see. What do we got going on in terms of credits? 16,800. We are getting up there. We're really getting up there. And it looks like we have unlocked this right here. We still need a 12 gauge, though. We need a 12 gauge. That's going to be tough, man. Uh, How much are 12 gauges? We can buy it, actually. We could buy it, but I could also just save my money for a better rifle. So, I don't know. I think we might just do some of the free hunt to try and get up to either 7mm or 30-06. I think 30-06 probably would be a better option. I've heard that this gun's pretty good. So I think that's what we're going to do. And in that case, we're probably going to leave this video here. I know this was a little bit shorter than some of the Pro Hunts videos we've been doing. But we kind of ran out of stuff to do until I decide if I want to buy that 12 gauge or not. And I want to keep each of these episodes kind of like themed, whether it be like open hunts for one, challenges for another, Pro Hunts for others. I want to keep them separate so you guys kind of know what each episode's going to be, you know. But I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you all so much. This has been a very fun game to play through. And I mean, it's just starting. We're just at the beginning. Things are only going to get crazier from here. So you want to be able to stay tuned and watch all these episodes. It's going to get good. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button if you haven't already. It's a massive help in getting these videos pushed out to more viewers. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.